Guys, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to hack a WPA Wi-Fi password using aircraft method. This video is brought by Grey Hat Society. So before getting started, there are two things that you guys need to have. The first is a basic operating system, which is Kali Linux. For me, I'm going to use the VMware to run the Kali Linux. I'll put the link in the description so you guys can download it. And the second thing that you guys need to have is a wireless adapter, which is support packet injection. For me, I'm going to use the TP-Link. The model is TLWN722N, version 1. Nowadays, if you guys want to buy this thing, it's very hard to find because they have stopped producing it. And But if you guys want to buy the other wireless adapter, which is support packet injection, please do check the link in the description. So now let's get started to the tutorial. So the first thing to do, we are going to check our interface name by typing m on the g. Now our interface name is WN0, the chipset is Atras. And now we are going to turn on the monitor mode so that you guys can see what traffic that flows around me. By typing m on the g, start WN0. So as you can see here, the interface name changed into WN0MON. The MON stands for monitor mode. Now we are going to check whether our wireless adapter can do packet injection or not by typing airplay dash ng dash 9 for checking and then our interface name. So as you can see, the injection is working. Now we are going to capture the traffic around me by typing aerodump dash ng and the interface name. So in this case, we are going to hack the Grey Hat Society and the password for it is Grey Hat Society with 0 and 1. And now let's get started. So now we are going to stop the capturing by typing control C. Now we are going to capture only the Grey Hat Society network by typing this command. Herdam and the BSS ID you can take it from here. To copy, you need to type Ctrl Shift C, and to paste Ctrl Shift V, and the channel is channel six. And now we are going to save the file location. For me, I'm going to put it on my desktop, and I'm going to name it as Project One. And don't forget to put your interface name. Hit Enter. So now the file has been created. So as you can see in the station, there is one user connected and this is my pc all right and now we are going to capture the wpa handshake so there are two methods to get the wpa handshake the first is we are going to wait until someone connected to the wi-fi or the second method is we are going to try to disconnect this user and then when it is reconnecting back we get the wpa handshake i'm going to show you guys how to do the second method so now open the new terminal and type airplay dash ng dash 0 means the, the authentication mode and 5 means 5 times and then dash a is the BSS ID and dash c is the user you can take it from here oops very hard okay yeah copy and paste and then put the interface name and then hit enter. So as you can see, the WP handshake has been captured. So now we need to stop this. All right, now we are going to crack the password. How? Type air crack dash ng and the b dash b is the BSS ID again. And then dash w. So we are going to use the password list. So this is my own custom password list. If you guys want to know how to build your own custom word list, please do check in my next video. I'm going to post it soon. And then take the project one. So now we are going to crack the password. Hit enter. 
So as you can see, the speed here is depends on your uh, processor. For me, I'm going. I'm using the i7, the seventh generation. So the maximum speed is four thousand something. So now we are going to wait until the cracking finish. So now the password has been found is Grey Hair Society. As you can see, it's the same password. So it's, it's taking around 4 minutes for my PC to crack it. And now we are going to. Sorry. Uh, now we are going to put the password inside the Wi Fi. So if you guys realize that after you turn on the monitor mode, the, 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 the Wi Fi option has gone. Now I'm going to show you guys how to get it back. So just need to copy this first. Alright, control C. Now we're going to type this command. Airmon dash ng stop the WN0 mon interface name. After that, surface networking restart and then surface network dash manager restart so as you can see it's going to turn our Wi-Fi back alright now we are going to connect to the Grey Hat Society now just need to put control V click connect Ah, there you go we are connected to the Wi-Fi so in the next video I'm going to show you guys how to crack the password using crunch method so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to check our Facebook web page and our website so thank you for watching guys have a nice day